This place doesn't really make any sense. It's a country store in a really old town in the middle of nowhere in central New York. The surprise of the shelves and the camaraderie and the community, and then the cherry on top of that is having the best egg sandwich of your life. It just feels like a special secret. So the population of Bovina is in the 500s. It's a little bit hard to find. You gotta like take kind of a windy road for a couple miles, so it's a little nestled. There's no stoplights. Russell's is literally like the beginning of town, I would say. Basically, there's another bend there, and that's the end of town. So we literally can see from one end to the other. Not a lot of people that come through here are like, oh, what is this place? It's all like, oh, we heard about this place. It's all like word of mouth. I'm Antonio. I uh, work here at Russell's with Maggie, and we're in Bovina Center, New York. I'm Maggie. We bake and cook here at the general store in the middle of nowhere. She makes the pies. And he makes the sandwiches. Yeah, we wear all the hats. We like to keep the books. We wash all the dishes. Yeah. Wash all the dishes, mop the floors. The most popular item here is the egg sandwich. And I think it's always been the egg sandwich here at Russell's. The buns are fresh. I just take soft butter and put a lot in there, try to fill up all the air holes. I like to get it nice and toasty and the, it'll steam and get golden brown. More butter. And then this beautiful local eggs. Just crack it right on there. And as soon as it hits the, the deck there, I hit it with black pepper, a lot of Malden salt. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel with the egg sandwich. I'm just trying to make the best egg sandwich that I can make with the ingredients in, that are available to me. The bread gets nice and toasty like that. And I just use just regular American cheese. And then the egg is still a little bit yolky. I like that little drip there. The bacon is hot, nice and crispy. And boom, nice bun on top. Give it a little smush. The smush is like, I give it a little love, you know? I like to like marry all the flavors in there. Right, Maggie? <laughs> it's all about the smush, so. Food is so personal to everybody. We all grow up in different homes, different families, and there's things that we like, food memories and associate food with. The bacon, egg, and cheese, it's like people have eaten that their whole lives, right? So why try to go in some weird esoteric direction and just make it what people want? I was born and raised in New York City, born in Queens. I lived with my mom in Manhattan. My dad lived in the Bronx. I had a very diverse family. Food was always a big part of my life. My very first job was at my Uncle Alex's Deli in Patchogue, Long Island. I had to make egg sandwiches. So I've been making egg sandwiches since high school. My first job in a restaurant, a real restaurant, was a four-star caliber restaurant. Then I worked at Danielle for two years, and then I worked for another chef for five years, who was French. I got to a point where I was running big, big steakhouses in Midtown Manhattan. I started to like kind of lose the, the passion of cooking, and then COVID happened, and so I had like, you know, 60, 90 days to just sit around and think about my life and what I could do. So hell was like, you should move up here, you know? <laughs> and I did. If I'm gonna cook and be a part of food, I wanna, I wanna enjoy it, and I wanna love it. And I wasn't doing that in the, in the city, you know? So here, I get to do that. It saved my life getting out of the city, coming in here, having a purpose. I felt very fortunate and work with people I like, I like and like that was really special, you know? And I felt very blessed for that, you know? This building is super old. It has so many funny, little quirks and nuances, which you will find. Russell's General Store was left to the town by Marjorie Russell a long time ago, and it's been in the town for probably over 100 years. Two or three years ago, Sohel and Sarah took over the lease here at Russell's, and they ran it. And then in March 2020, the pandemic happened. They had to close. I was in the city, and I made my way up here. I had been like visiting up here for six years, I guess. And around June, he was like, Maggie's at Russell's, we need to reopen it. Bovina is incredibly lush. All of these tributaries up here run through those, run to the Delaware River, but there are streams in every backyard. There are a lot of dirt roads with like a lot of wildflowers growing on them. There's no foot traffic out here, no. <laughs> 
mostly just tractors going by with huge bales of hay. Someone definitely has to tell you where Russell's is or people have heard about it, you know? Unless and, and you're just out on people. a country drive. Yeah, or you're lost. Or you're lost. You don't want to be out of gas in Bovina Center. The kitchen situation here is duct tape and spit, basically. <laughs> it's like you're in somebody's home, right? The, the kitchen. And I have six by 14 inch little cast iron thing to cook on. You know, you have to make it work. It's, it's challenging. There's a lot of challenge to it, but I make 200 egg sandwiches. We make bolognese, lasagna. We do like brodos and broths and pulled pork and all that stuff off that little five burner stove. And like we have three ovens and Maggie's makes up to like 150 pies, maybe 200 on holidays. My favorite pies to make are fruit pies when I can get fruit around here, which is important to me. But I also like to experiment and especially in the winter when fruit is a little bit harder to find. I make custard pies, chess pies. Yeah, we do savory stuff. But my favorite pies to make are a pretty classic fruit pie. Pie making is fussy in general, like the process. They usually look pretty, pretty rustic and homemade. And they are. It's just me making pies, you know? <laughs> this is a local um, strawberry pie. It's super simple, because the strawberries this season up here are so delicious. I just thought, well, you don't really need much more than some really beautiful, fresh little strawberries, a little lemon, sugar, a little cornstarch to hold them all together. And then it's just in a super simple, classic butter crust. Her pies are great, yeah. The apple pie is my favorite, so I have to wait once a year to have them. But, <laughs> but I, I ate like two of them, I think. This is five sandwiches. I mean, this place will always be here, right? Russell's, but the way it is now, I don't think it could exist just me by myself or Maggie by herself, I think. Together we bring we bring it in a good way. Good yin and yang. Yeah. Well, maybe just yang and yang. I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe yang and yang, <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe. I'm trying to think, well, I mean, you know, savory sweet is the obvious one. I would say neat, chaotic, neat, messy, cool-headed, all over the place. I don't know. Well, I've known Maggie for a long time, but over this past year, I think we've become super close friends. Living up here has been such a big adjustment from coming from the big city and, this sounds funny, the big city, but I feel lucky to be able to work with her and we can share everything and always nice to have someone to lean on and that, that's made like working here fun. I can ask him any question, he knows the answer. He's like, oh, I, I gotta show you this recipe. It's like, the, it's like stuff I haven't even heard of. You know, he's so creative. It's amazing to have someone who has a, a lifetime of work and experience under his belt. Our sole responsibility here at the moment is to curate the shelves. The shelves tell a story, personal memories, uh, like personal nostalgia. But we'll have like a bag of flour, but we'll also have like camellia beans that are, you really can't find them outside of New Orleans. And New Orleans is one of our favorite places. We have this, this is like a, an udon soup base that we get pretty often. It's nice to come here and get like some udon soup base, get some Asian noodles and an egg sandwich. I think the shelves reflect like Bovina as a community. So there's a lot of people that love this store very, very much. We try and have something for everyone and also fit under the umbrella of classic general store. I just thought I'll get out of the city for a couple months and slow my life down and go back and like hit the ground running again. And three months came and went and I was like, wow, I just, life is beautiful here and, and it feels good to be happy. Been able to like slow down and like enjoy, fucking enjoy life, you know? That's, that's what's great about living up here. You can enjoy things. That's how it's, I think it's gonna like add years to my life because I'm not, like it's just the stress. Well, yeah, what is it? You live to work or you work to live, right? So. I want to work to live, I don't want to live to work, right? That's how I've changed.